Sean T here. This is episode 165 of the End Aid series that I began December 1st, 2021, World AIDS Day. And um, it is Southern Time Productions funding drive. Um, not day, because I skipped a day, but I'll get that in a second. Um, it's day, uh, it's Southern Time Productions funding drive 131. And it's May 15th, 2022 today. So I forgot to do my episode. First time I did this, I forgot to do the podcast yesterday. I was just so tired. I wasn't feeling well. I had this headache and just wasn't feeling well. And um, busy, taught a lesson. And then when I normally go do the video before I go swimming on Saturdays, I, uh, my wife wanted to exchange shoes she bought for her son. They weren't the right size. Um, they were too big. And she wanted to go to a mall where she knows they have variety across town. So we, right after that, we um, like we had lunch and then we went for a road trip. And then I was stayed, my son was sleeping, so my wife went into the mall. We were just on the ground parking lot. I thought I'd rest a little bit. Five minutes later, my son woke up because the car wasn't moving. And then I had to feed him and entertain him, and which was always fun. And I totally forgot. My wife came back, then we we uh, were house hunting because, you know, it's not, we can't raise our kids, kid or kids, hopefully we'll have another one coming along soon, um, in a one-bedroom apartment, right? It's, we want more security and a place for them to play in the backyard and stuff and not feel claustrophobic. Um, so we're, we're like, we're window shopping for homes in, in neighborhoods that we find appealing so we checked out a new place that I discovered last week in Toronto and uh, yeah it was nice then we we um, picked up pizza along the way and went to bed early because I was really tired and then in the middle of the night I woke up and was like oh my god I didn't do the video so I'm gonna do two videos per day because that's what I said I would do so I'm gonna do that every day or if I miss a day then I'll make up for it um, for the end eight series. So, um, I, uh, after this, my walk in the park here, beautiful day, gorgeous. So just uh, amazing that doing these videos, you know, you really see, um, every day you go out in nature pretty much every day and you see how nature evolves, evolves so quickly sometimes from now it's summer, summer in the middle of May. It's uh, summer came early this year. Very little spring in Toronto, very little spring, only a few weeks goes from winter to summer from cold to hot um, so anyways um, yeah go after this walk I'll go home have lunch my family my look after my son while my wife exercises and then uh, and then I'll go do another video then go swimming so and then tonight we'll um, uh, do uber I haven't done that that much this week didn't make much money still under 100 bucks and then jam hopefully with Bryant and the gang tonight. So um, yeah, I'm feeling better today, as you can tell. And um, yeah, but another thing that I would probably got me worried why I wasn't feeling well was because um, I was supposed to talk with uh, the Indonesian soon supposed to be moving to New York this weekend, back to New York City um, advisor who's who's who um, you know stay that should be able to get the first tranche of investment for Southern Time Productions by the end of May which would be perfect so the Southern Time Bank can start rehearsing its butt off to get ready for its 2022 performance um, and uh, we we're supposed to talk Friday night um, but he I sent the message just a minute before we we're supposed to talk it said ready whenever you are and uh, the message didn't go through uh, it's like just one check mark on WhatsApp. That means they it didn't go through through their phone. It was sent, but it didn't land in their phone. The phone's turned off or stolen or, you know, broken or something happened, right? So, and he was supposed to be moving to New York, back to New York this weekend. Um, so, I don't know, was he on the plane? But it's been 48 hours now, more than 48 hours. So, it's like, the flight's not that long, so it's not that he's in the air. But um, I hope he's all right. Because if he's not, then I don't know. A real, I mean, if it's sometimes to begin rehearsing 
this June, uh, beginning of June, to get ready. We can't push it any, f delay it any longer than that. We will st we have to really work our butts off hard. Then investment, if it's, it would be a miracle. Just somebody says, okay, I've been watching your videos, daily videos, and say, okay, I see you're, uh, where you are. Here's here's just $50,000 would get us started. And um, yeah, hopefully they buy us enough time over the summer to find the rest of investment for, so the Dreamer series can be, be again pre-production this fall. And um, yeah, so I hope he's all right. So uh, let's say a prayer prayer for him. I'm gonna use his name because I believe speaking it out, uh, you know, um, makes it stronger, the prayer. So everyone pray for Bapa, B-A-P-P-A. Bapa, um, hope you're doing well and I hope you are safe and, and aren't any in trouble. And if you are in trouble, that you get out of it. All right, <laughs> for your sake and for Southern Time Productions sake. All right, take care. See you guys in a, in a couple hours. <laughs>